The Cafe Scribe mobile reader can be downloaded from the Apple App Store or the Android App Marketplace. To access the Cafe Scribe mobile reader, just tap on the icon. And your login is identical to the same login that you would use on your Mac or your PC, both the online and offline reader. So you can see the bookshelf looks a little bit different since we are on the mobile version, but you can see here that I have all of the books available to me. So to access your book, you're just going to tap on the title. And it's going to bring you an overview. So you can see here that I can go to my last page view, similar to the, the online version as well. I can enter the table of contents, go immediately to search, my bookmarks, my notes, or to the snap summary. To turn the page in the mobile reader, you'll just simply swipe to the left or to the right, whichever page that you want to turn. If you need to zoom in on any pages, you can just use the same pinch and pull gestures that you would in any reader on your tablet. Now you can see in the upper right hand corner I have a tools menu. Within the tools menu, I have the ability to go directly to a particular page. So you just simply enter the page number that you want to go to and hit go and it'll navigate you straight to that page. Also in the tools menu, I can search. So I can either search within my book or within my notes that I've taken. So again, similar to the online reader, you would just type in your search term, click go, and it'll bring you up all of those results, and you can just tap on any one of them to take you straight to that page that's being referenced. Next in the tools menu is the ability to add a note to the page. So similar to the online reader, I can add a title. And add text to the note as well. Now again, you can choose to either keep that note private to yourself, which is the default, or you can just click on the checkbox there to make the note public. And then click Save Note and your note is saved. The next tool you have available is to insert a bookmark onto the page that you're at. So again, you can add a title to the bookmark. Click Save and then you have added that bookmark. So again, it's just sort of like dog-earing the page, so you have a quick link to jump back to where you were. And last but not least in the Tools menu is the ability to switch to highlight mode. So you can see here that I just have a switch that I can toggle back and forth to be in highlight mode. So it's important to remember when you're in highlight mode, you won't be able to turn pages. You won't be able to tap to turn pages. So I'm gonna turn highlight mode on So to highlight a portion of the text, you'll first want to tap at where you want the highlight to begin, and then tap at where you want the highlight to end. Click Save, and you've highlighted the text. Now if you need to edit the highlight, delete it, or even add a note to attach to the highlight, just tap on the highlight that you've made. And you can see here that I can either add a note to the highlight or delete the highlight altogether. Once all your notes and highlights are in place, you can access them all in one easy step by clicking on your Snap Summary. So once you tap on the Snap Summary, you can see that it brings up all of your notes and highlights, kind of like having an instant study guide right there. 
If you have any questions or need a reminder on how to use any of the features in the Cafe Scribe mobile reader, in the upper right hand corner just tap on Options and then Help and enter in any search term for any of the features in the Cafe Scribe mobile reader and it'll take you step by step on how to use those features.